Well, 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 we're back with the summer 2023 update. And today we're taking a look at the cases and one war paint case. Now, as is pretty much tradition at this point, whenever TF2 receives a cosmetic update, I take it upon myself to do a little unboxing to see if we can get anything cool. The last unboxing I did was actually very, very successful. So go check that out if you haven't already. And I'm hoping this one can replicate some form of that success. That would, I'd like that. <laughs> Um, but without further ado, we've got 17 of the 2023 summer cases and then one war paint case. Odd number, I know, but it just works. Plus two Manco packages that it's going to have some mid-end, but we'll, we'll get them out of the way now. Oh my god, that's so cool. But yeah, let's just jump straight into it with the first case. Let's see what's in it. Give me something good. Come on, give me the unusual. That's what we want. All right, not bad. I'm so <laughs> Oh my god. Why? Why is it the first case? What is going on? Do I have some like insane unusual luck or something? That's the first case. Oh my god. Wow. <laughs> I'm honestly speechless, like, I know I'm supposed to ham it up and give her an insane reaction, like, oh my god, I got a fucking taunt, and then throw my chair out the window, but I'm I'm shocked more than anything, I did not I did not expect anything from this video, and we've already got an unusual fire for a taunt that I use quite regularly as well. Oh my god. Well, that has gone a lot better than I expected. I will take that in a heartbeat. Thank you very much, Valve. This is payback for all those other unboxes I've done and got nothing, isn't it? That is so cool. I love that for me. <laughs> well, on to the second one, I guess. I, I, I'm very happy with that. Okay, we've got the Stealth Bomber. I didn't actually know which class this was from when it was released, but I'm, I'm guessing Soldier. Yeah, Soldier. Yeah. Might look good. We'll, we'll, we'll have a look at the end. Um, swiftly onto the herd case, I guess. Okay. Cargo construction. I did like this when I saw it, so I'm I'm quite pleased with that. I definitely want to have a look at seeing if I can work into any of my engineer loadouts. Maybe not. Who knows? But it looks nice. And we'll just move swiftly on to case numero four, where we have a backpack expander and a medical emergency okay so i i think my backpack is at the maximum size it can be so i can't actually use a backpack expander anymore but they're always nice to have i guess all right case numero five we're just whizzing through these man where are we going this one then Ooh, brothers in blues and no, i'm not I'm gonna lie not the biggest fan of that cosmetic but it doesn't look that bad to be fair so yeah, we'll, we'll see how it looks anyway. Could be a, a sleeper banger, but I'm very, very unsure. Number six. Nice, the Blast Bowl, okay. That's a decent looking cosmetic. I'm not sure I will use it, but we'll see. Swiftly on to number seven. Ah, our first dupe, but it is a strange. So that's that's something, I guess. Number eight, come on. Ooh, multiple items. Strange part revenge kills. That's that's quite cool actually. St transfer tool as well. Ah, oh, yes. We got the buff sniper. That's what it's all about. That's what it's all about. The buffs. I don't care about anything else. The buff sniper's where it's at. I'm happy with that. I, I wanted the buff sniper because I wanted it, and I finally got it. Let's fucking go. So far, pretty happy with my unboxing. I'm doing fairly well, I think. Oh, and we got the Uber. Strange Uber wear as well. Very nice. I do like this cosmetic, so I'm going to see if I can implement it into any of my loadouts. Maybe, maybe not. Who knows? But so far, so good. We've done, what, nine cases? And I've got one unusual fire and a nice selection of cosmetics there. I'm happy with that. We'll move swiftly on to number 10. Oh, the fire stalker. Nice. That's a nice cosmetic that I don't know if I will use it in any loadouts. Probably not. It doesn't look like the vibe I normally go with, but it does look cool. 
so there's always that. And swiftly on to number 11, I believe. Jay's really chomping it down. Okay, yeah. Broom to Lego. Not bad. Not bad hat. Not one of my favourites, but it's, it's, it's not bad. <laughs> We're actually going to switch it up here. We're going to go for the end one. See if there's anything rustling about in there. No. Okay, we've already got that. Our first actual dupe of the uh, video. We've already got it, and I didn't really like it that much in the first place, but we move. We're just going to go straight on to number 13. Oh, multiple items. Okay. Blast Bowl again. And a, a description tag. Okay. We, there's still quite a lot unticked. I mean, we've completed a nice little chunk, which looks quite nice, but there's still a lot more for us to get. But we did get the Bushman, so can't really complain at the moment. But we're just going to hop on number 13. 13? Number 14? 13? 13, I think. I've lost count. Oh, what a dub. The Bushman again. Nice. Oh, Bushman, we love you. So I've got three left. I'm going to hit the one up in the centre first. It could be something beautiful in there. You never know. What we got? I'm taking the piss. Heavy metal again. Get out of my face. Oh, Toro Dewey ticket though. That is a huge dub. I love me some MVM, so I will take that. Thank you very much for the Triv Dewey ticket. Very cool. Okay, penultimate case number 14. Let's go. Penultimate case. Give me something good. Come give me an unusual. Oh man. That's not epic. <laughs> Alright, hit me out. I just want a hat with a new unusual effect. That's all I'm looking for, you know? I'm happy with the unusual fire. I think that's very cool. But I just want an unusual hat from this set, you know? I'd be happy with like the blast bomber. The the brimmed bootlegger. You know, even even a fire stalker, you know, I'd be happy with any of those. Any of these hats with a cool effect on, I'd be happy with. So come on. Let's hope Valve have listened to my prayers. Okay, name tag. Ah, Le Professionnel. Okay. D decent. I mean, we got that last we got that last night, so not the not the greatest thing in the world, but it's a it's a cool cosmetic nonetheless. And finally something that i don't particularly care about personally war paints they're not really a thing i'm interested in i i've got loads of strange weapons already and yeah i'm just not the biggest fan of war paints i do like some war paints don't get me wrong but they're just not really for me um, but we're gonna have a look anyway and find out what we got ah Love fucking brilliant. What's that? Battle scarred or some shit? Yeah, this is why, this is why I don't do skins. Like battle scarred, they look awful. I mean, it doesn't look too bad on the weapon, I guess. It, it, it doesn't look too bad. I mean, it doesn't really change the back box that much, to be fair. But like, yeah, it's not great. It's an alright war paint, but it just doesn't doesn't really look that nice, to be honest. But hey, is what it is. So let's have a look at these new cosmetics, shall we? Oh, so this is the heavy metal. It's like a little ripped biker jacket with a nice shirt underneath it. Doesn't look that bad, but it just wasn't a cosmetic I was really interested in. And we can also see the brothers in blue on the heavy. Actually looks quite cool on the heavy. That's pretty funky, actually. It's not as bad as I thought it would be. And this is what the brothers in blue looks like on the soldier. Quite cool, actually. Yep. Yeah. Actually a pretty cool cosmetic um, now that I'm looking at it. And then this is the stealth bomber. Okay. Adds a nice green belt and some green trousers. A little few pouches around. Not too bad. But it's an alright soldier cosmetic. Quite low-key, I feel. Um, yeah, it's alright. It's decent. Yeah, this doesn't look too bad, actually. You know, it's uh, sort of like an enhanced engineer. I think it's quite nice, to be fair. I could use that in a loadout, probably. I'm not sure I will. Gives me sort of fireman vibes as well. Blade doesn't look too bad, actually. And then he can also wear the brothers in blue as well. Yeah, it looks... Bit silly on the engineer, I think, but again, nothing offensive. Ah, oh, so yeah, so it is a bag. Thought so. It could have either been a bag, a chest plate, or a backpack, but no, it's a little little messenger bag type thing. Okay, not really for me. But this, ooh, if it didn't have the gloves, I think that'd be a very solid cosmetic. I mean, as it stands, still very nice, but it's just the gloves look a bit odd in my opinion. And brothers, yeah, doesn't does not work for the medic at all. His face is too long for this. <laughs> okay, that's cool. It's cool that it has different styles. Not a fan of the jumper style though. 
much prefer the sticky style. <laughs> That's quite funny. I might see if I can work that into a loadout or two because I do, I do like that. <laughs> um, and then probably the cosmetic everyone is interested in, myself included. Oh my good god, <laughs> that is that that is something. All right, I like it. I, I do like that. <laughs> We definitely need to see if that can be uh, implemented into one of my loadouts because it's quite cool. Yeah, this one looks looks all right. Nothing to write home about really. It's just a a Sherlock Holmes hat and a pipe. Looks pretty funny coming out of his little little nozzle, which I think is a funny touch, but not a bad hat all in all. That's very funky. Like I was at a little jaunty angle. That's very cool. Don't know if I'll be able to implement it into any loadouts, but it looks pretty funky. Pretty funky fresh. We're going to use the unusual fire. We're going to see what unusual effect I get. Flopping Frenzy. I'm going to assume that's going to be a lot of fish. <laughs> right, that's pretty funny to be fair. Bro's just taking his tank through the, t through the pond. <laughs> I'll take that, that's pretty funny. Uh, and yeah, that has been my Team Fortress 2 Summer 2023 unboxing. We got an unusual at least. There's always that. We got it at the start of the video, so kind of an L, but we move, we take that nonetheless. <laughs> and yeah, see you guys in the next video. Peace. Hey, oh, uh, uh, I've been up for like two hours. Two hours. Yo, bitch can feel took a few showers. Few showers. I don't buy my just money dance. Yeah. That wristwatch costs a hundred grand.